Boycott BP is a very popular call across this country right now. You've heard it as the American people look for a way to punish the oil giant. But one of our viewers emailed me an interesting point of view. Kathy in Dallas asked me this. She said BP is saying that they will pay for the cleanup. If everyone would support BP, they might be able to stay in business long enough to absorb the massive cost of the cleanup. If the American people decide to boycott it, will not only put more financial pressure on them, but it could dishearten them enough to make them not want to do as much as they should do. Well, folks, we're working for you here at Fox Business, so I am posing that question to Bill Moyer, executive director of the Backbone Campaign, one of the organizations supporting the boycott BP campaign. All right, so her point of view here, Bill, is that we should support BP. What do you say? Well, I say that this, you've characterized this as an accident, and it, it's an accident in that nobody wanted it to happen, but it's the kind of accident that you might have when you're driving drunk. This is an accident that was caused by negligence and greed. And in this country, very recently, uh, corporations were just given full personhood. So if they want to have the rights of persons, then we, the people, have to have the tool of corporate capital punishment. And the regular people can't wait till the next election cycle. And we don't want to sign you know, another email petition. We have to be able to let our elected officials know exactly how we feel right now, and we have to be able to vote with our dollars. And that's what the bill, BP boycott is really okay, all about. Okay, well, first I do want to say real quick here, no, you know, that's what investigations are for, Bill. There's going to be a criminal investigation, most likely a civil investigation, to all of this. And we'll find out where the mistakes were made, and hopefully they will be corrected. I mean, I'll, but, but we have to be clear that we don't know what those mistakes were as of yet. That's why we have investigators. Point number two here, you want to, boy, what, what? I mean, you want to ban, you want to ban BP stations, Mon Pa stations? Those are not owned by BP, the company. How does that help anyone? I want, well, I actually don't want to just boycott the BP stations. I actually support uh, Reverend Jackson's, uh, what he told you the other day was the idea of putting BP's American assets into receivership and actually get Obama right down there and his uh, folks into the Gulf federalize this problem. This is not just threatening BP profits, and this is not a BP problem. This is an ecocide. We all, right and left, are terrified of what the implications of this strike, of uh, this, this oil gushing in the Gulf, and, um, and we want to see it solved. And we aren't sure that B we know for certain, actually, that BP has not been fully disclosing, and why should we trust them? Just like uh, Mr. Awad and Elizabeth uh, just, uh, just stated earlier, they don't have an incentive to, for full disclosure, but the American people and the Gulf of Mexico and the people of the planet actually have a very large incentive for full disclosure and transparency and st fixing this problem. You know, your anger and your passion for this subject is, is well noted here, and many people sympathize with you on both sides of the aisle. But the fear and the danger here is that taxpayers will be left holding the bag. We don't want taxpayers being left hold, to hold the bag if BP is taken out and shot at this point in the game. The idea being is that, as the emailer wrote to Cheryl, you need to keep BP up and running to basically pay for the cost of the cleanup spill. And why not boycott BP headquarters and not the mom and pop shops, the gas stations, who are not responsible for the spill? You wouldn't have had three people on in the last week if boycotting BP at the gas stations wasn't a powerful tool. We're here communicating to you, but we're also communicating to elected officials and BP the depth of our grief and our anger. And big oil needs to get a clear message here that accountability is, a, is part of is essential if they want to risk our en environmental health. We also have to take into consideration as Fox business folks that the cost of oil needs to factor in these risks. It needs to factor in the foreign occupations that we have to do to guarantee supply and control. That, All right, Bill. It's let, important. Let, let me, that, that, look, we're getting off topic a little bit here. Let me go back to the station issue with you. You're boycotting BP stations. Let me ask you one more time, just to be clear. You fully support boycotting BP stations across this country, even though they are not owned by BP the company, but they are family-owned, small businesses. You're okay with that. You support that boycott. You know what? I think those folks have the opportunity to go to get their gas from a different source.
Okay. And I've spoken with, uh, with the owner of the BP station, where it's an Arco station on the West Coast. I've spoken with that owner. He fully understood and even offered us coffee. Um, he understands that when BP does something irresponsible, that he pays a price. And he understands that we're actually probably only going to make a small dent in his business. But the, the larger dent is participating in the well, national dialogue in this way. And that's say, what Bethlehem campaign is about. A lot of those stations, Bill, a lot of them, are, are, their revenues are down 5% and more. But uh, Bill Moyer, thank you very much. The Backbone Campaign Executive Director on Boycotting BP Stations.